Looking for the inside scoop on Broadway's biggest shows and stars? Well, you've come to the right place. It's The Broadway Show. I'm Tamsin Fidel. A-list Hollywood star Rachel McAdams makes her Broadway debut in Mary Jane, the new play from Pulitzer Prize finalist Amy Herzog. Paul's here now with a story. Well, welcome to the boards. Thank you. How, how are you feeling right now? I mean, I feel like this is a lifelong dream to be working on a Broadway show. It really is. It's 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 hard to kind of wrap. I'm, I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around it, to be perfectly honest. I pinch myself every day, and the little theater nerd in me is freaking out. Do you have any nerves? Is it is it scary? Yeah? Yep. Terrified. <laughs> Absolutely terrified. You know, it's gotten better since okay. we've gotten into the cool. rehearsal space. We've gotten up on our feet. You know, I've gotten to ask a million questions, still have a million more, but I find I'm endlessly challenged by film and television still. Like, I'm not bored mm -hmm. there. So you could kind of just go down that road. But yes, um, I was intimidated to take it on. So there was always something holding me back a little bit. But then I read this play and it just got its hooks in me. And I, and I was like, this, there's something in the universe is telling me this is, this is the one, hopefully not the last one. I can feel it, you know, the nerves subsiding a little bit as we just, you know, find it. So let's talk about Mary Jane, the character and the play. You are in every scene. Yeah. The, the structure of the play is you're interacting with different women from scene to scene. Give me it, sort of the capsule of what is Mary Jane's life like. Yeah, Mary Jane is a um, single mom living in Jackson Heights, New York. Um, she has a two and a half year old son who's um, quite sick. He has um, a lot of special needs. And, um, and so she has caretakers that come in and out of her home. Um, she's trying to hold down a, a job. She's got a real joie de vivre. She gets endless joy from her son. Um, it's really the system that is most burdensome for her, but she does not really bemoan it. She's, she's very sunny and, um, you know, she's a climber. I, mm -hmm. A friend of mine said that to me, is saying like, it's easier to dig than climb and, mm -hmm. and Mary Jane climbs. It starts very realistic and it, it's, it's a very interesting structure to the play. Mm -hmm. And your director, Annie Kaufman, actually said, it's set in a dream world based in sober truth. Mm. which I think is a really well uh, stated. Oh, I love that. I haven't heard her say that. Yeah, I mean, she's smart like that, right? Yeah, yeah, she's, she's pretty <laughs> darn smart, yeah. What's it been like digging into yeah. it in the rehearsal room? Yeah, it's been lovely to move through that energy yeah. of um, something very concrete to something very spiritual and kind of otherworldly. The, the energy that this play follows is moves in a lot of places and but I think it's all relatable you know it all is grounded still even at its most heightened moments I think this play is just so it's just so gorgeous the writing is is incredible I think it's it's heartwarming and it's heart-wrenching and it's surprising and it's funny um, and it's a testament to the human spirit. I think people, I think it's, it certainly is a play that has changed me. I just think Amy's words are exceptional and Annie's directing has already been so inspiring. And so, yeah, I think, I think this is gonna shine a light on part of our world that we don't shine a light on enough. Um, a community that we are, there's so much fear around. And Amy is bringing it into a whole new light, and I and I think that's really important. Bot bottom line, and then I think the way she's doing it is 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 like I said, surprising, human, relatable, um, and gorgeous. So, yeah, I'm excited to get out there. I'd be remiss to not mention the fact that you know, currently you timed your arrival to Broadway with the arrival of Noah and Ali and The Notebook Musical, there are actors literally being rained on eight times a week, <laughs> trying to recreate, beautifully recreating the magic of what you did with Ryan Gosling in the rain that, that, that sparked so much romance around the planet. Right. Um, but is that, isn't that crazy? That crazy. just like... Crazy, <laughs> just crazy, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. a friend of mine, uh, he said, my mom was like, we're going to and she's gonna be singing and dancing. And he was like, um, I don't know if you are 
I don't think you have the right show. She was like, she's doing the notebook, right? And I was like, no, she's not, she's not. Um, uh, I can't wait to see it. I think it's so exciting um, to see it take on a whole other life like this. It blows my mind, you know, and we didn't even know if anyone would see this movie when we were making it. Yeah. When we were drowning in the rain. <laughs> they would pull the, there wasn't rain. They would pull the rain out of the lake, the oh, wow. bottom of the lake, and um, from fire hoses. And Dump the it was rain a on really you powerful, hose. like stinging rain, you know? <laughs> but so hopefully it's a little bit gentler. Where does it go? Yeah, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> Let it them have great. the magic. Yes. What's different about taking on a play versus the many films you do uh, at this point in your life? Yeah, it's very different um, from doing film or television. Uh, the workout my brain is going through to learn all these lines and then not just throw them, you know, right. in film and television, you learn a page, you throw it away, yeah. you never see it again until maybe a reshoot a year later. I love coming to work in my pajamas <laughs> and staying in them. Uh, film and television, you might show up in your pajamas, but you're not going to stay that way. So, you know, just kind of not thinking about hair and makeup and, and just really getting into the, the, nitty gritty and the meat of it every day. Um, I love the finessing, you know? I mean, sometimes in film and I, you know, like a year later after I wrap something, I'll wake up in the night thinking, that's how I should have played that scene, <laughs> you know? And it feels like, you know, maybe that there'll be moments of that here, but you, you just get so much time yeah. with the material and so much time to mess it up and then get back on track and then mess it up again. And um, so I'm looking forward to, we're sure. just at the start, but that roller coaster. Yeah, and riding the audiences. Yes, yeah. yes, that sizzle of, of playing with an audience and talking to them and um, whatever they're gonna give back. And I've been told you can hear everything. You can, you really do feel mm -hmm. them so palpably. So I'm sort of terrified of that and also looking forward to it. <laughs> What was Shakespeare camp like as a kid? <laughs> you went to Shakespeare camp. That, that's pretty legit. What was that like? It was amazing. It was why I'm here. You know, I loved it so much. What did you do? I did. I played a fairy in Midsummer Night's Dream. Nice. Um, we did Greek theater. I played Clytemnestra and Agamemnon. You know, we were kids and it was like, you guys can do this. This is, this is not beyond you. You know, you've got all these ideas that this is hard stuff and it is you know but yeah. I had this great director that was like you guys can do this it really was life-changing I remember we were in um, an actual outdoor amphitheater it was this incredible place in small town Ontario Canada and it was just phenomenal it was incredible I just remember playing a fairy and Enya came on and we all woke up as these little fairies and I was at the bottom of this ravine in this amphitheater and there's big pine trees everywhere. And it was, it's never been as magical as that <laughs> since. Pure magic. No, but that was really like, it just, it was, it was, it was a magical beginning. When you were a kid in, up in Canada, you definitely seemed attracted to all of this. What do you think led you to it? What, what, what was the appeal of it? What I love so much about acting, you know, I grew up in a small town oh. and I had a very stable childhood. I was in the same house. Um, basically from birth until I went off to theater school when I was 18. And I had a very stable, you know, I knew what I, every day it was very consistent, which was wonderful. And I'm so grateful for it. And it really grounded me. And I think it's been really helpful in my acting life um, to go back to that. But I really wanted to see the world. I really wanted to get out there. I wanted to know what all these lives people were living remember when we would drive at night. <laughs> I loved driving at night because I could see in people's windows. And I would just look out the window and wonder like, oh, what's that person's life like, you know? So I love that I get to live. I get to cram a lot of lifetimes into this one. I feel it's created a great deal of compassion and um, empathy in me, which, you know, you can never have enough of, so.